carpet in our Volvo XC40 test vehicle is orange. Bright orange. The color of a prison jumpsuit, although Volvo chose to call it lava, which is probably a better idea. And it's everywhere, on the floor, the sides of the center console, and the door panels. It's a $100 option on design models, and its availability makes a statement about the subcompact SUV's youthful exuberance and target demographic. Or as one passenger put it, rubbing his hand over the carpet's fibers, it's self-consciously aimed at younger buyers, trying to be less Volvo. Yet, in many ways, this crossover is every bit as much a Volvo as your great aunt's 240. High is entertaining to drive and to look at, quick acceleration, good value proposition. Lowe's raked back light impinges on cargo hold, is Volvo trying too hard to court young buyers? Design that works the 2019 Volvo XC40 T5 AWD design is the hottest available version of Volvo's newest, smallest, and least expensive SUV. What makes it a new design is more aggressive suspension tuning including 10% stiffer springs, monotube rear dampers, fractionally thicker anti-roll bars, and standard 19-inch wheels. The XC40 design is easily identified by its chunky tailpipes and the contrasting black roof panel that extends down half of the capilla to create a distinctive silhouette on an otherwise predictable shape. But the combination doesn't always win, with black trim also found on its a pillars, pillars, and mirrors, our crystal white metallic test vehicle looked as if it had been ordered by the California Highway Patrol. We also tested an Amazon blue car with a white roof and the momentum trim level, ostensibly one step lower in the lineup but with the same driver train. The XC40's clamshell hood design is very Range Rover, but it works. And the tiny plastic Swedish flag peeking out from under it on the driver's side like a wayward shirt tag is daring and maybe a bit silly, but it works, too. It all works, including the XC40's fast backlight its broad shoulders, and Volvo's signature tall taillights. It looks like a Volvo, which is a compliment, and it feels solid like a Volvo, with door handles that feel weighty and doors that close with a solid thud, but its design takes more chances than the brand's larger SUVs. It is, in that way, indeed a bit less Volvo. Prices for the XC40 Momentum start at just over $36,000. Our test example, Equipped with many of the same options as a design, cost $44,315. The design adds plenty of content for another $2,500, and our essentially loaded test vehicle wearing optional 20-inch wheels and Piley Scorpion Zero or Season tires cost $45,935. Those numbers are competitive for all-wheel drive entries in this class. Although with front-wheel drive the BMW X1 and the Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 both started less than $35,000, and the new BMW X2 starts at $37,395. A slightly less powerful and front-drive T4 variant of the XC40 that joins the lineup this summer will start at $34,195. Competitive performance all XC40 T5 S all-wheel drive and powered by the same turbocharged 2.0-liter inline four and an 8-speed automatic that Volvo also uses in its larger XC60. The engine is a bit raspy at high RPM, and the exhaust note has no more color than a flat-sucking sound, but there's plenty of go with 248 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute. The engine's 258 lbft of torque hits at just 1,800 revolutions per minute, so the XC40 is quick off the line. Switch from the default comfort to dynamic mode and you can break it at the SUV and launch it at 2,800 revolutions per minute, helping it get to 60 miles per hour in just 6.2 seconds. That's a tenth quicker than Porsche claims for its turbo 2.0 liter Macan. The Volvo covers the quarter mile in 14.8 seconds at 95 miles per hour, a tenth quicker than the BMW X1 and two tenths quicker than the new BMW X2. As you'd expect with the same driver train, the acceleration performance of the Momentum Edition is quite similar. 
Fuel mileage is about average for a class packed with similarly sized SUVs also powered by turbocharged 2.0 litre engines putting out about the same horsepower as the Volvos. It's the template. The EPA estimates that the XC40 should return 23 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. However, we averaged only 19 miles per gallon in mixed driving around Los Angeles with liberal use of the Volvo's aggressively tuned stop-start feature, which isn't as smooth as it ought to be. We measured 21 miles per gallon in the momentum driven around Ann Arbor, where we conducted a separate 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test, recording 29 miles per gallon. The XC40 also has an eco mode that tunes the powertrain for maximum possible efficiency but we rarely used it. At 174.2 inches long and 3,854 pounds, the XC40 drives small on the road. It feels light on its feet and is quick to change direction, characteristics amplified by the Volvo's small geometer steering wheel and extremely light steering effort. Unfortunately, the redesign's larger wheels and tires and revised suspension create a stiff leg dried without a corresponding improvement in handling. The XC40 design circled a skid pad with 0.85 grams of grip, just 0.01 grams short of the X1's road holding figure and not effectively better than the XC40 Momentum's 0.84 grams. That's surprising. Considering our design's bias are slightly wider than the Momentum's optional 19-inch Michelin Primacy MXM4S. We expected a larger gap, but the XC40 has an undefeatable and inhibiting stability control program. The redesign stopped from 70 miles per hour and 173 feet, but the Momentum needed only 161 feet. We would not suggest making the XC40's ride quality even worse with the 21-inch wheels wrapped in summer performance tires that Volvo offers as an accessory. On our favorite canyon roads, the XC40 T5 design understeers mildly at its limits, and there's a bit more body roll than we expected of what is nominally the top performance model. The 8-speed does match revs when you use the wheel-mounted paddle shifters, but the response time could be quicker. Still, this is one of the better performing and more fun to drive compact luxury SUVs out there. It's especially entertaining in dynamic mode, which adds a little weight to the steering, cranks up the throttle response, and asks the transmission to hold gears longer. Another lovely Volvo cabin aside from its cheetah's curled carpet, the XC40's interior generally mimicked the loveliness of the cabins in the brands of the fresh designs, including the XC90. XC60, and S90. Fit and finish are exceptional, and the combination of black Napa leather, suede seat inserts, perforated hides on the steering wheel and seats and even on the key fob, and white contrast stitching give the redesign's cabin sporty flair. But forget about wood trim. That would be too Volvo. -y. Instead there's cool aluminium trim that Volvo calls cutting edge, with inlays on the dashboard and the door panels. Its front seats may be firmer than you expect in a Volvo, but they're well shaped and comfortable. The rear seat offers more legroom than is the norm in this segment, and there's also plenty of headroom. Behind the rear seat are 21 cubic feet of space. That's more than in a Mercedes GLA, but the Volvo's fast backlight doesn't leave much room for tall items. In our testing, the XC40 held six carry-on size boxes in its cargo area versus seven in the X1 and five in the GLA. However, with the second row folded, the XC40 swallowed 23 boxes versus 19 in the X1 and 16 in the GLA. For all its flashy overlays, the XC40 is quite Volvo-like in its attention to functionality. Beyond the sizable storage area, the XC40 also has a number of clever features to improve its practicality, including a trash can built into the center console, the ability to stash the cargo cover on board, and little stowage bins under the front seats, that you can read about in more detail here. The XC40's portrait-oriented infotainment touchscreen also houses controls for its stability control and driving modes. The screen measures 9.0 inches, basically functions like an iPad and is mostly quick to respond except just after starting the vehicle. 
Its graphics are crisp and modern. The system offers a standard Wi-Fi hotspot and is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Other notable tech includes the XC40's ability to do some of the driving itself. Opt for the premium package $900 on redesign and you get pilot assist, Volvo's semi-autonomous system. It works with the XC40's adaptive cruise control, offers impressive stop and go functionality, and can steer the vehicle on the highway. The camera and radar based system which asks that you keep at least one hand on the wheel accelerates the vehicle, applies the brakes, and steers it smoothly, but it does have its limitations and can be confused by inconsistent road markings. The $1100 vision package includes blind spot warning with cross traffic alert, front and rear parking sensors, and park assist pilot, which can steer the SUV into a parallel parking space. Furthermore, our test cars had the $995 advanced package that brings a 360 degree camera and LED headlights that have high pressure washers and also steer with the front tires. It all adds up to a strong and very compelling entry in its segment, even if you don't opt for the ice ring carpets.